It's time for the executive edge and a few stocks to watch. Shares of Nutanix are sharply higher. The cloud platform company reported a smaller than expected loss for the fourth quarter. Revenue was higher than analysts had expected. They also picked up some big customers, and that helped them with things, too. That stock is up by almost 18 percent this morning, a gain of $3.50 to 2310. Box reporting better than expected second quarter revenue, but the shares are down as investors were a little disappointed after the company reiterated its earnings outlook for the year and just marginally raised the low end of the sales forecast. That stock now off by 8 percent. And Williams, Sonoma reporting strong second quarter uh, earnings. The kitchen and home decor retailer also lifted its guidance, citing strength in its West Elm pottery brand, uh, barn brands. But the stock's down today as same store sales at its namesake brand fell more than 1%. And Guess is up sharply this morning. The retailer, second quarter results beat estimates. It raised its profit forecast for the entire year. The company expects minimal impact from further tariffs between the U.S. and China because it's been able to mitigate those risks in talks uh, with its vendors. And shares of Ollie's bargain outlet plummeting. Haven't been to an Ollie's. I don't know if they're, I've never seen one around here. Retailers' earnings missed estimates, and it's uh, lowered its full-year guidance. CEO Mark Butler said it was a tough quarter, citing the rapid opening of new stores. Ah, there we go. Maybe we'll see one soon. Yeah. Ollie's opened twice as many stores as in the previous quarter, including taking over 13 former Toys R Us locations. And sources are telling CNBC, uh, appar telling CNBC that apparel retailer Forever 21 is considering filing for bankruptcy. Its efforts to restructure its debt have reportedly run dry. The brand's been hurt by the drop-off in spending at malls. Particularly large, it has a particularly large and expans expensive uh, real estate footprint with more than 815 stores uh, globally. And a lot of them are really big stores, too, inside of malls. Forever 21. I've yeah. been one of those either. Not a big shopper. I, get... I, I, I would hope not. It's for teen girls. Yeah. I've be a little concerned if you told me you we're spending a lot of time there? Yeah. Not not advisable. No. Not advisable.